Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's a Fussy here in the building. Welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are good. So I just want to react on Two Face Idibia and his wife. Two Face was on interview with the wife, and he said that men are wired to cheat. Well, that is the word of every man that has been caught cheating. Once a man is caught cheating red-handed the next thing he will say is that he's a man i'm a man i am wired to cheat even his friends will tell him the same thing so because you have accepted his faults as a cheater and he knows he won't stop cheating so the next thing is to tell you that men are wired to cheat so annie had to bear it but Two Face was very honest, saying that most of 95% of women, whether they have caught their husband cheating or not, have said the same to their wife, maybe in private or where they are gathered as friends, even in front of the wife. They have said it. And uh, for him to be honest, I am proud of him for being honest. Instead of pretending, saying it's a mistake or not. But I just want him to also know that Women are also wired to cheat. Who no like cheating? Cheating the sweet. Imagine when you are in school and you don't know any, you know no book. <laughs> you don't know book. When they bring out cheating paper, you also will like to join because everybody wants to pass. When you are doing anything difficult or difficult game and you see a way to cheat and win, you will also do it, be you a man or a woman. So same in money, business. If you are not getting enough and you see a way to cheat, you will cheat. The only people that will not cheat are people that have fear of God in them. They do it because they know that God is watching. Not because their partner will find out or that the business they did with someone that the person might find out. You might cover the money and the person might not even know that you took part of his or her own money. You might cheat and your partner may never find out. But your conscience will not let you cheat because you have fear of God in you, not because of your partner. Even though some do it because they love their partner, they don't have the mind to cheat on their partner. But mostly, someone that has fear of God in them, knowing that God is against this and is a sin, will not do it. So, women are also wired to cheat, but they don't cheat because they love their husband, because they respect their husband, whether in his presence or in his absence. Some don't do it because they think of out of if they are caught cheating. That will be the end of the marriage. But men feel that they, they are the one to throw out their wives. You will see, that's why you will see a cheating man. Once he catches his wife cheating, he throws her out because he feels that he's the man. He's the boss. But in Western world, men are also scared of being caught because the wife will throw them out. They will lose everything, even their children. They'll be, they'll be seeing their children once in a while. So because of that, even if they want to cheat, they are all so, so careful. But in Africa, men cheat with the neighbors, the woman living down the street. They even rent house and put women there. Do their thing and people, everybody knows, neighbors knows, family knows. And nobody will talk. Even sometimes, most times the wife knows. But she keeps her man shut. Only praying that one day, God will change that man. God does not change that kind of a man, except if the man gives his life to Christ. So by the time the woman thinks of the children involved, she will just stay in the marriage. Even some of them go to the extent of also cheating, just to make their mind calm down and accept their faith. But the men that respect their wife do it so carefully. Maybe Two-Face might have been more careful if he wasn't a star. Him being a star makes him more vulnerable because whoever he's with, might expose him. Whoever that sees him might expose him. But most people that have been bashing him are not celebrities. They do worse than him. They have children everywhere and they hide it. They keep it secret until they die. Then on their burial day, some of them will come back bringing their children. Why some never know their father? Then, they don't know that when they get to heaven, God will ask them, the children you were born everywhere, did you take care of them? You, your blood is all over everywhere. Sometimes their children might even meet the children they had outside and they have relationship they get married not knowing that they are of the same father some men have come down because of diseases everywhere 
They now believe that meat open that in. They protect themselves, they carry it about. When they want to travel, you will see them packing it, hiding it away from their wife, or they whatever they get, wherever they are going, they buy it, they carry it about. They said meaning that one where you thief, you know, something where you, you do in secret, in the sweet past the one where they open. So when once a woman has been declared your wife and everybody knows. Men tend to look for the ones that are not their wife. Maybe somebody's wife, somebody, eh, or you know, something, you know, it, it, they prefer something hiding instead of something open. So that is why, but in Two Face case, Two Face is a star. He's a celebrity. He's talented. He's cute. So many Nigerian women, African women who want to have something with him, married or not married. But I still pity the wife. Is either she stays or goes. And once she goes, before you know it, another woman occupies her space. And what worries her is everything she has worked for. Someone will now come and reap where they didn't sow. And that is why she stays put. What I would advise her is, if her husband is cheating, let her go on and uh, keep putting it in prayer. That one day, God will turn Paul, Saul into Paul. And make the man have fear of God in him through repentance. That is only way a man will stop cheating. That is only way a woman will stop cheating. Let God put the fear of God in him. Turn the life around. When you see people that have passion for heavenly race, that not the ones that talk it in their mouth, the ones that really want to make heaven, they look away from sin and focus on heavenly race. You will see that all this earthly satisfying of body and soul is nothing. Material things, gold, um, perfume, cream, highest car, highest houses. You will see that those things, once somebody closes their eyes, everything is gone. You go into the grave naked. That will, once you keep reminding yourself that one day, this skin that we are nourishing, putting on expensive clothes and shoes and uh, perfume and cream, will be eaten by worms. You will keep all those earthly things and fight for heaven, which is everlasting, everlasting enjoyment, which is still a mystery to us. So it's out of greediness and out of foolishness that will make someone trying to satisfy their body instead of their soul. Because one day, the soul will leave the body. And you see people crying every day and you wonder, are you better than them? You are not better than them. Celebrities crying. People that have money, fine. So it's not what money can solve. We don't know our time. We don't. If God can just give us estimate of how long we have, you will see a lot of people stop whatever they are doing and focus on God, because their mindset will now be to make everlasting heaven. So that is all I have to say. So cheating is not only wired for men; it's also wired for women. Okay. But mostly, it's just like a socket where you plug in your phone to charge. Sometimes you see people carrying socket looking for where to plug it in. That is just like a man's bowler. But mostly the socket on the wall doesn't go about looking for the charger to plug it in. It stays there until to show you that whatever is long is always looking for whatever is round. And whenever they see socket, they plug it in. But the sockets are the ones to reject some some chargers if all these women they go to say no 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 or charge them big amount of money before anything you will see they'll go back to the one they have in the house that is free of charge but no some women we don't even want money so for your celebrity they just chase after you the ones that want money if you give them two euro five euro in exchange five thousand one thousand even if you give them a plate of food before yakata for you ah what a shame that's why i love europe life in europe it's so hard for men here that is why they run back any opportunity they run back to go and do rubbish here it's not that way if you harass anybody on the way the person can call ak for you we <laughs> go and answer but in niger in africa as a whole people have turned their body into cheap commodity even the poor are not even fighting for heaven. They use their body to do whatever. Hook up. I hear that what is raining is hook up. So let me not go far because I've 
talk for long. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and all that good stuff. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.